What is up YouTube? My name is Mark and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So today we're going to be talking about shot placement and how Danny and I make sure that we know exactly where to put the arrow when we're hunting. Oh, before I get into this, uh, I also just want to congratulate the winner of our giveaway again. Uh, the giveaway was done last week. This was for the Summit Viper SD tree stand. Uh, and due to a technicality, um, our uh, Patreon member, Ronnie Medean, actually is the winner. Uh, the original winner never claimed his prize. So uh, unfortunately, it goes to the next uh, person on the list. And Ronnie was actually second and third and that's because uh he had so many entries into the raffle because he is one of our patreon members and they get extra uh raffle entries so if you also want to get those extra entries make sure that you check out our patreon page and you can check that out at www.patreon.com slash swamp and stomp we really appreciate you guys now let's get into the video so a lot of people are always asking us about, you know, what the right place is to shoot a deer, especially when you're archery hunting. It's really important that you hit them in the right spot so that you cause, you know, uh, as much damage as possible and get a quick uh, ethical kill. And, uh, you know, we've all seen the pictures, like the diagram of, you know, a deer or a hog uh, and what their, um, their physical structure is and, you know, approximately where you should shoot. But the fact of the matter is that when a deer is walking towards you or walking past you, it doesn't quite look like those pictures. You don't always get a broadside shot, you know. Sometimes you have them quartering to you slightly. Sometimes they're quartering away. Sometimes they're walk just straight walking away and you're shooting over their back. Um, you know, there's, there's lots of different ways that a deer can present itself to you when you're in the tree stand. And when those different um, angles present themselves, it really helps to know where you should put your arrow. If you've been watching videos on YouTube about hunting, then you may have already heard of this guy called Ranch Ferry. He's kind of all the rage right now. What he does is he looks at different broadhead setups um, and really arrow setups that uh, help get the arrow through the body of a deer or a hog or whatever. Um, and so he has a lot of really good information about how to set up your arrows for maximum penetration. And that's really important because one of the things that he harps on is that heavy weight and high FOC in your arrows is key to making that arrow go through whatever it encounters. Because the fact of the matter is that deer are not always going to present the perfect shot. And if something like bone gets in the way, you want an arrow that's going to be able to break through that and still get to the vitals. And so with that in mind, uh, you know, having those heavier arrow setups really helps a lot uh, when you use the tip that we're going to jump into in a minute. Because it allows that arrow to basically just go through whatever's in the way. Let's jump right into it. There's this fantastic app, and I should mention... We are not affiliated with this app at all, uh, but we find it to be a really useful app that you can get on your smartphone. Um, and the app is called Bow Hunt Simulator. So if you go into your app store or whatever it is that uh, Androids use, um, you just search Bow Hunt Simulator, and you should find it. And there is a small fee. I think it's like three or five dollars to buy this app. But it's a one-time fee. There's no gimmicks where you're having to buy stuff once you're in the app. So it's it's really quite worth it. Go to your bow setup. Um, and you can actually put in all the settings of your own bow. You can set the speed that your arrows are moving. You can set the weight of those arrows. Um, you can even put in the thickness of your arrows. And then you can set different pins uh, and what distance you want them to be at. So, you know, if you like to have your pins at 20, 30, 40, you could put those in at 20, 30, 40. You can select different animals. Um, you can select elk, whitetail, uh, wild boar, um, roe deer, bucks, coyotes, turkeys. You can choose hens or toms. Um, so, I'm just going to select whitetail deer because that's what season is coming up. 
uh, there's two different versions of the simulator. You can do a static, you hit static rand at the bottom, and it'll basically just set up random uh, situations where the deer is standing still. So it's static in different uh, angles. And you just keep hitting that button until you get an angle that you want to try. Uh, up at the top, you can see the conditions. You can see how much wind there is, uh, you know, and in which direction it's blowing. Um, and you can see how far away it is. We have this uh, quartering two shot. It's at 45 yards, so I'm going to draw my bow. And you can see where those pins are. Now, I know that the yellow and the green are 40 and 50, so it's 45 yards. So I'm going to put it right in the middle, and I'm going to take a shot. So it shoots. And then it tells you right here on the bottom right, it tells you what you hit. So that's pretty good. I hit left shoulder, uh, right and left lung, heart, and veins. But you can go one step further than that. You can actually inspect the shot. So you hit inspect, and it'll show you exactly where the arrow went through on this deer. So you can see, if I look right down the path of the arrow, I kind of missed the heart. I should have shot a little bit further back. You can also see that I basically shot straight through the uh, the left leg, right? And so that's not ideal. I'm not saying that you can't kill a deer by doing that because Danny actually did exactly that. Um, and I'll show you the video right here. Uh, in this particular case, Danny had a quarter and two shot. And from playing this game, he knew exactly where to put the arrow to get through the, to the heart. So he put the pin on it, not even thinking about the bones, because he was using a really heavy arrow that could penetrate through bone. And uh, yeah, he drilled this deer. It snapped the front shoulder right in half, and uh, and it actually went right through uh, to the heart. And we have this picture here. This is the his broadhead stuck in the heart. That's how he found it. Um, but let's do another one, since that wasn't a great shot. So here at 31 yards, we've got slightly quartering two, but this is mostly a broadside shot. So let's put the pin right there. There we go. We got right lung, uh, left lung, heart, and veins. Let's check this shot out. So here you can see, I mean, this is about as perfect as it gets. I... I put it right through the top of the heart, severed the aorta um, and the vena cava. I think that's what it's called. The big vein at the top of the heart. Uh, right through both lungs. So, you know, this is a perfect shot. I missed all the bones. And, and this, you know, by running these simulations over and over again, doing different ones, you really start to get an idea of where you should be putting your arrow. Um when you're shooting you know what you can get away with and what you can't get away with um, there's also a really cool thing that this app can do you can see down at the bottom here it says string jump estimate and this basically if you push this button it's going to show this like triangular shaded area and this is essentially um you know at the distance that it was at and the speed that the arrow was moving it's showing the average reaction time of a deer and how far it could move uh, you know, in a downward motion to jump that string, uh, so you can get an idea of where your arrow might hit if uh, the arrow, if the deer jumps the string. And as you can see in this particular hit, even if uh, you know it got to the furthest extent of that triangle, it would still probably uh, be a spine hit. And so that's not bad because if you can hit the spine, it's going to drop down and you're going to get a second shot. Um, but ideally, you know, if I'd put this shot just a tiny bit lower, that would have been perfect. But anyway, you guys get the point. I'd really advise that you uh, check out this app. Uh, it's super cheap. It's a super useful tool, especially if you're a beginning bow hunter. You're not 100% sure where you should put that arrow. Make sure that you check that out. Um, it's really, honestly, it's going to change the way that you look at the deer when they come walking in. Uh, and like I mentioned before, um, if you're looking to set up new arrows, check out this guy, Ranch Fairy, on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, we don't even know him, but he really puts a lot of great information out there. So check him out. And uh, yeah, with that, you know, we got season's already open here in Florida. It's not on public land. 
Uh, but starting next weekend, uh, a couple places are going to be opening up. So I wish everybody uh, the best of luck out there. Um, you know, and hopefully this app allows you to take a shot that you normally wouldn't really feel confident with. Uh, and you can get a deer on the ground. So with that, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. We really appreciate all the support. And good luck in the woods, guys.